It's crazy. Hey guys, happy Tuesday, October 16th, 2018. Yes. Uh, I'm with Cole Neesmith, and we're going to talk about Immerse 2018. Yeah, so, we are. Um, this is this Friday, Saturday. Yes. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, October, October 19th, 19th and 20th. 20th. So I'm going to let him do his magic. You guys have seen Cole on the show before. You know how awesome he is and passionate. And this is it. This is the event we've been talking about a whole bunch of times. So we've got a thumbs up so people can hear us or see us. So welcome back. Thank you so much. Always fun to be here. And uh, yeah, it's coming up Friday and Saturday. We've been preparing for a long time. Our team has been preparing all year. We have more than a thousand artists who wow. have also been preparing and some really exciting performances all over the streets and public spaces of downtown Orlando. So we would love to invite people. So tell me about the fact that you're shutting down yeah. Orange Avenue. Is it both nights? Is it one night? Of course. And what part of Orange Avenue um, are all the performances? Yeah, we'll have hundreds of performances and experiences happening both Friday night and Saturday night. So even if you come both nights, there's more than you could ever see. So we encourage people to come both nights. If you can only come one, come one. But we encourage people to come both. And it'll be performances from the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra, the Orlando Ballet, one of the most exciting performances that I think we have this year is a collaboration between the Mood Designers, who are an electronic duo, a DJ and a live drummer, and the 100-piece Central Florida Community Arts Orchestra. So we'll have those two uh, electronic musicians up on a 25-foot scaffolding runway, 20 feet in the air, wow. with more than 100 orchestral musicians under them. They're taking us on this like 30-minute long musical odyssey that will be both epic and super intensely fun. We'll be out there dancing in the streets together. The whole thing will be, of course, accompanied by tons of lights and projection all around. So it's going to be so amazing. How, talk, about the, talk about the logistics a little bit. So if somebody wants to go, do they have to buy a ticket? Well, we encourage people to. So this year, we have the full experience plus ticket. So with that ticket, people will be able to experience all the performances. Uh, and a lot of the installations, but there's also two large-scale installations that our team has been working on for the last building for the last month. One of them is a 3,200 square foot ball pit with 300,000 balls inside of it. So come and experience that. We'll jump in it together, have a lot of fun. And then another <laughs> installation called the Worlds of Corksicle. It's a three-story building right on Jackson next to the Grand Bohemian. We've turned that into uh, essentially a three-story immersive art gallery with 12 built environments that people can walk through and interact with and of course take some photos in and people can experience those two large-scale installations as part of the full experience plus ticket wonderful all right and so does it start Friday evening and then run all the way through Saturday what are the times? yeah 5 to 11 each night and so if you work downtown have your family meet you here come right out of your office onto the streets of Orange Avenue and spend a couple hours with us and so tell them why the word immerse and tell them how, hey Jim, hey Jim. Uh, tell them how it came to be. I mean, we've done a show about it before, but you know, yeah. we all forget. Give them a little background. Yeah, we're all about creating experiences that audiences can't have anywhere else in the world. And so we're always asking, how can we get our audience up close to artists? How can we help them encounter experiences that they really wouldn't usually experience? Like I just talked about with the electronic musicians and the orchestra. Uh, and then of course the immersion, immersion aspect of it. For instance, our presenting sponsor this year is Orlando Health. And along with them, we've created this 60 foot long, 25 foot wide, giant inflatable tent. And we'll have an interactive projection installation on the inside of that where audience members can go in and use their body to paint digital paint on these 20 foot walls 60 feet long. Oh my god, how cool. So it is kid friendly. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. You know, these are the questions that people people want to hear verbally. Yeah. And set, you know, then they'll go check out the website. And of speaking course. of the website, how do they get tickets and what website do they visit to get more information? creativecityproject.com. So creativecityproject.com and Honestly, if you haven't seen Cole's really cool, creative videos before, he's kind of slumming it right now, coming on the TED Show, because oh, the stuff he creates is so cool and amazing. Oh, you saw Cole yesterday at- Hey, Christine. Oh yeah, Christine yeah. Cabrera, she's been on the show, she's awesome. Uh, but what you're doing with for the city, it's such a great thing, and 
we talk about collaboration yeah. on the show all the time, and you've got all these great partners that you work with. You've brought in big corporations. You're trying to make it an experience where all Orlandoans, or pretty much anyone from Central Florida, well, I don't know, come from all over the all world. All over the world, want. that's the goal, uh, yeah. Come on, uh, enjoy the arts and enjoy some really cool experiences that you can't find anywhere else, because it's once a year, correct? Yeah, so Christine actually mentions Revise last night, which is the, the, the new Tech Week, the name of, of Tech Week now, and one of the things I talked about last night at Revise was how our goal as an organization is to elevate the global perception of Central Florida as a place known for creativity and innovation. So when you talk about you know people coming from all over the world, that's definitely one of our goals. And as we continue to grow as an organization, as you, as our audience continues to come and attend and pick up one of those tickets, that's one of the best ways people can actually support what, we're, what it is we're doing by actually just coming to the event and getting that $23 ticket that gets you uh, some of those extra really fun interactive experiences. Oh, look, Teresa's on. Hey. Hey, hey, Teresa, she sang on. She yeah. sang on the show. She's talented. Yeah, we got. And she's, bring, she's collaborating with Opera del Sol, and that's right. Some, some fun operatic vocal performances I mean, with an it. original song. Oh, you're, there's an original song. There is Teresa. an original song. Nice. Yeah. All right, so it's this Friday night, five to eleven. Saturday, five to eleven. CreativeCityProject.com. Did I do it right? You did. All right, so. Uh, yes, you're singing this weekend too, Teresa. Here you yeah. go. There's so much good stuff going on with this event. Um, there's something for everybody, and I think you should check it out. You're, I missed the name of the event. The event is Immerse from the Creative City Project. So right here, actually, in the comment, in the in the caption for this video, we tagged the we event did. link. So you yeah. can click on the event link right in the caption of this video. Yeah, and get all of the information. Share it. Come on out and support the arts, but really you're going to have a great experience this Friday and Saturday with Cole Neesmith. I don't know if you get to see Cole very often. You're going to be running around crazy, I'm sure. We'll see each you other. You took some time to come today, and I appreciate that. Because well, I think it's so important, me too, and I, I, I think it's so important for everybody to hear about it. Because no matter what you do, the more that you can get the word out, the better, especially sure. when it comes to the arts. All right. We love you guys. Any parting words of wisdom? Anything you want to share with them before we head out? Please join us Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday is going to be an amazing night. Saturday night right now, it looks like there may be a couple little spits of rain, but that does not stop us. So if you're planning on coming on Saturday, uh, just bring an umbrella. We might have a few like 10-minute breaks. But our team is ready for that, and uh, and our artists are ready for that. So rain or shine, every night, Friday, Saturday, we can't wait to have you. A thousand artists want to meet you. CreativeCityProject.com, or click the link that we hyperlinked in the original post. So we love you guys. Check it out. Immerse 2018. See you there. See you.